Hi folks, welcome back. This is Arlene once again. We have uh, something a little different. Uh, this is poplar wood. This is what it looks like. Um, and you can see up close here, um, it has a little bit of brown underneath the... This is a dry piece. But when you get a green piece, this will be much more of uh, a green color underneath. When I stripped part of this away, you can see that it has a green tint to it. I actually uh, stripped it away and then put uh, a Santa face in, in the center. And part of the problem with cutting the green is how do you keep it from splitting? Because what will happen, it will split up here and split downward. Uh, one way to prevent that, and I read this somewhere and somebody had recommended to put uh, Elmer's glue on the end. Now I'd use that glue stick that I normally use. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. I would just use a regular white school glue that you use and just put it on the end and it, uh, it will get real hard and clear. Um, a little better than what this this stuff is here. Um, I need to paint this. I think this will turn like a, like a light brown like this is right here. If you can see that right underneath here. Um, that's the color it will probably turn when it's completely dried up. Uh, I can see it started to turn a little bit already, but once I seal it with the sealer, it might stay this color for a while. I don't know. I don't think it will. But I should have left the <laughs> should have left the um, you know the bark on it. It would have looked similar to this. But um, you know, I like to experiment once in a while, and this is just one of my pieces that I decided to try it with. So what you want to do is you want to um, Take Elmer's glue and just really put it on there nice and even, a nice semi-thick coat on either end. Let it dry. And then you can you can go ahead and carve it and uh, have fun with it. Uh, it will prevent it from splitting from the ends. It will, it will dry from this inward instead of on the ends where it can dry a lot quicker before the rest of it dries. And that's what causes the checking or the, or the cracking on the piece. So if you have a tulip um, uh, poplar tree and that's what this is um, uh, there's different types of poplar it is so nice to carve folks it is so nice and soft and real easy to carve especially when it's green so I'm going to do some more in this particular type um, in the future and I'll leave the bark on the next time around I have maybe four or five pieces of this yet but anything that you think is green go ahead and put that put that um, Elmer's glue on the end. That may help you uh, from having any problems in, in the future. And I also learned that, um, uh, that they put glue on the ends with, with the guys that do uh, green, uh, use green wood for doing uh, the canes. So just, you know, and, and the glue is really cheap right now. Right now I want to tell you, when it's back to school items, uh, go to Walmart. They have those little stick glues, like two for 30 cents. Uh, I use them all year long for all kinds of things, for patterns and all kinds of stuff. And great for kids if you want to do projects with kids. Um, and the regular Elmer's glue, uh, the white glue is on sale uh, right now. Uh, it is in our area up here. So uh, good luck to you, and I hope that's been helpful to you. So glue either side, and I think you'll have a great time carving these green as well. Okay, folks, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Carver's Wood Shop. Bye-bye.